So what's up everyone and happy Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day and a blessed day as always. I hope that everyone is enjoying your weekend this far. And if you're not, listen, just try to make the best of it anyway, because the blessing of the day is that you are still alive. And what that means is that God is not finished with you yet. So let's go ahead and get into this message so that we can get right and stay right. So listen, God is the God of restoration and throughout the whole entire bible it speaks of you know the many different ways that jesus restores his people right and in in the ways that he can restore us is he can you know heal blind eyes heal you when you're sick heal deaf ears make the cripple walk remove demons about the people listen god can do it all and We have to believe that he would do the same for us in our lives because also with restoration comes abundance because the two go hand in hand. Listen, God can take anything that is broken. He can take anything that is old and make it new, take anything that's broken and put it back together as well as make it better and give you more. But do you believe that God will show up for you in your life? on your behalf in that way because there are so many things that I know all of us are dealing with you know throughout life and even currently where we feel like we don't even know how we are going to be able to get to the certain points or the certain places that we desire to get to because of where we are because of what our reality tells us right we don't have things together right and you know naturally as humans we want everything together before we step out and do certain things you know what i'm saying and when our life is like chaotic and when things aren't in place you know this also discourages us and keeps us from believing that we can do what it is that we want to do you know and if there's anything that is holding us back or having any type of negative impact on us in any type of way you know that that's also another level of discouragement because we feel like you know how are we able to do certain things whenever i have this standing in my way right whenever i have this really impairing me and holding me back but again i'm here to tell you that because god is the god of restoration he can take anything and turn it around he can take any mess he can take all the broken pieces that we have and put it back together and he can make us whole right that is the beauty of the things that god can do the miracles and the wonders that he can do and i know that also in the bible that it says that because god knows the plan that he has for us the plans to prosper us and not harm us to give us a future and a hope listen that is telling you that he's not going to harm us although we are going through certain things listen he can he can come in and restore anything that we have going on and that we he he plans to give us a future a prosperous future and they hope so are you holding on to that hope that god has given you are you holding on to that faith and that belief that although things are a mess although you may may be broken although your life may seem broken that god can come and take all your pieces and put them back together again and make you whole and make you new and also give you more in the process But you have to believe that he's going to be able to do things for you and not give up because giving up will mean that you will not end up getting the things that you want out of life. It will mean that you will not be the person that you are meant to be. But again, because God is the God of restoration, he can restore you. He will make you new and he will make you whole and as well as giving you more. Anything that we lose in life, God will give us more. He will replace it and make it better because, you know, again, being that there are different levels in life that we go through and different trials that we go through, it is all meant to work out for our good. And it's going to come a point in time in life where you're going to look back at it and see that those things meant or were meant to happen for you, to you, meaning that really they was they were for you, right? It happened for you, for your good. And So if you are a person, right, who is dealing with any type of sickness, you know, dealing with any type of thing that is holding you back, I want you to believe, right? You have to have that faith to believe that God is going to, you know, do what no man can do. Because, you know, when we put our faith into man and not to God, then therefore we end up being disappointed, 
Because man is not going to do for us what God can do for us. So again, if you are a type of person that was de dealing with any type of thing, right? Anything that you know that man cannot fix. You know, anything that you know that you yourself cannot fix. You know, knowing that God is the God of restoration should... Um, give you something to hold on to because just as he did it in the bible throughout the whole entire bible it speaks of it the same way he did it for the people in the bible is the same god that can do it for us but you have to believe and know that and hold on to your hope and to your faith and knowing that god will restore all things and make things new because as well as anyone in christ is a new creation so he can make you brand new Okay, so I hope and pray that this message um, touches, reaches, impacts, um, inspires, encourages, and motivates anyone who it reaches. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.